What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. It is raining. Let's head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. Here we go guys. We're gonna find some cool stuff. I hope. I love when it's raining out. I wish it was pouring out. Because if it's pouring, less people come out to the thrift store and I find better stuff. Hey, I'll take it though. Let's go. All right. We got a whole bunch of movies here. Hopefully there's something good. Huh. Some interesting things here. We're gonna do some quick scanning and see what we could find. So there wasn't too much in the media, so I decided to come to the toys and games, and we're gonna take a quick look through a whole bunch of this stuff. What do we have here? Hannah Montana board game. Oh, brand new sealed old school Yahtzee. It's a newer one made to look old school for four dollars. Might be worth it. Stick that in the cart. You can see I got a little bit of media here, nothing too crazy. This is neat. I actually watch a YouTuber who's been polishing rocks, and it's kind of interesting. It's $25. Let me pop the price up here on the screen, guys. Selling for over $150 after fees, after everything, I should make over 100 bucks. So it's actually not that heavy. Pick it up with one hand, not too bad. That is a great find already. Uh, I haven't looked up the Yahtzee yet, but we'll look that up real soon. Let's see if I see anything else that sticks out to me. This connects is cool. I believe that tape is like aftermarket maybe? I don't think, yeah, see, I think that's what the original seal is supposed to look like, so no way I'm gonna count all those pieces. What do we have here? A Red Sox pennant puzzle for $6. That could be something, we'll look that up. All right, just found this cool little Care Bear puzzle. There's no price on it, but at this thrift store, they always write in Sharpie also. So the price got removed, but that three Y up there means it's $3.95, I believe. So $4, we'll stick it in the cart. Not a lot of money being made. You see it's selling for $15.53. I'll make eight after fees, minus my $4. So it's $4 profit. I'll take that, quick double up. Uh, there's another puzzle here. There's a good amount of puzzles. I don't know if this will be worth anything. This one's priced at $6, so it's kind of expensive. I've been noticing the prices are pretty high today. It's one of the reasons why I didn't find a lot up front. So a lot of the video games are $15 a piece. Kind of crazy. Uh, this, oh yeah, see now it's selling for $17. Bucks. They want 6 so I wouldn't spend 6 to make, you know, $3 after fees. But the rank is also really high, so this would take really long to sell for $3. Not going to be worth it. Some Playmobil stuff could be pretty good. I doubt all the pieces, oh, all the pieces might be in here. This could be interesting. I could cut it open and take a look. I might do that. It's only $2.99, it's pretty cheap. I, I think you can't really lose for three bucks if the figures are in there, so we'll stick it in the cart without even looking it up. Take a look at this, guys. Chia Shaggy. This is pretty cool. The only thing with uh, Chia Pets, a lot of times the seeds are kind of dead, expired, right? So it won't grow. Uh, there's no expiration date on this one. It's a risky buy, but nobody's on the Amazon listing. So at $3, uh, even the box underneath is kind of uh, cut and destroyed. So I think I'm going to put it back. But a lot of Chia stuff can sell for, you know, $20, $30. This one I'm going to pass on, though. Another puzzle. There are so many puzzles here. This one's kind of nice though. Uh, Go, wasn't that that Go calendars in the mall? Wasn't that, a, oh my gosh, $10? What is going on? Prices here are wild today. Let's scan it in, see if it's worth anything. It was originally priced at $14.99 and they have it priced at 10. Here it is on Amazon selling for 40, but uh, the rank is super high, no reviews. This is something I'm gonna leave behind. There are still so many games to go through and look at that, a whole nother aisle filled with games back there. Oh, what is this? Another Chia, the Golden Girls. This one's opened though, it's uh, $3, but if it's opened, not gonna be worth it. But that's kind of interesting to see two different Chia pets in one store. I've sold lots of Chia Pets in the past. I know they do well, but what do we have here? Dominoes, uh, that box is all messed up. We'll leave that. That's opened. Gotta be a little picky. Oh, I just realized another Playmobil. Another Egypt one. This one's pretty cool. Uh, this one's $5, $4.99. So we will stick that in the cart with this one. 
and I'll cut those open together so we could take a look at these in a little bit and see if it looks like the pieces are in here. If I had to guess, I'd say they're, they gotta be worth at least $30 each, at least, right? I don't know. All right, guys, this is pretty interesting right here. We got NBA Hoops basketball cards for $20, kind of expensive. Oh, wait, oh my gosh, I just realized we have another one at 20 and another one at 20. I wonder who we got Patrick Ewing on the front there, Joe Dumars and Irvin Johnson. Those are pretty cool. I wonder if there's any more hidden. I think I'm gonna throw them in the cart and see if maybe there's a card to look out for in this set right here. What year is this? Um, 1989, it says. So we'll stick them in the cart. We'll cut them open and take a look inside. So we got one, two, three. Pretty cool. All right, I was looking around and then we got a whole nother thing of cards right here. Don Russ baseball cards, 1991. What do they want on this guy? Another $20. Seems expensive. Somebody had already cut it open. Oh, they're all sealed. Each pack is sealed. That's kind of cool. So all those cards are pretty minty. And then these are opened. It's like a puzzle. Pretty neat. Is this worth it for $20? I doubt it. Uh, it's kind of, kind of cool, but I'm pretty sure this era of cards just isn't worth it. 1991. I'm going to stick it in the cart, and we'll look into this in a little bit. I think I see more back here. What do we have? Are these football cards for $20 also? Oh my gosh, these are all used though. Let's see, what do we have? They look like all different types. Oh no, that's baseball. And more baseball. I doubt there's anything good in here. Man, at the, at the peak of the card boom, it could have been worth it. But I know prices have come down quite a bit. I feel like you used to be able to just throw this up on eBay and get 50 to to $100. Now, probably not. I think I'm gonna put this one back and stick with these for now. Here we go, guys, My Little Pony. Uh, box is in okay condition. There's a little bit of wear. It is brand new. It's $9.99, so 10 bucks. I press the little button and it does work. <laughs> Look at this, I am surprised. There it is on Amazon, $75. Now, I don't know if it's gonna sell for that. There's only one person trying to price it at that. So odds are it's a little inflated, but maybe if I price it for 40, it'll sell. Uh, do I take the risk? I think I will. I think I'll take a $10 risk here. We'll stick this in the cart. Can't leave my phone behind. It will get stolen here. And <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep looking. Guys, we just made one of the best finds I have ever made. Take a look at this. A Bop It. A Bop It XT. I have sold Bop It's before for $40, $50. This one is brand new. Brand new. You never see this. This is from 2000 something. There's no year on it anywhere I could see. Maybe back here. Yes, right there, 2010. So we're talking 12 years old, still sealed. Now, like I said, they write on Sharpie on everything, but this is on this type of cle uh, smooth plastic. It should wipe right off. Sticker will come right off. Take a look at this, guys. Here it is, selling on Amazon for $195. What? That is insane, and I know it will sell. Bop It is definitely collectible, so this is six into about $200. This cart is getting really full i mean let's take a better look at it from over here look at this cart it is loaded with stuff i am pretty stoked let's uh, let's keep digging i mean i keep finding stuff left and right this is just wild some of the prices are high today but i'm still finding things that are slipping through the cracks all right guys another insane find right here trivial pursuit lord of the rings this is priced at 199 are all the pieces in here nobody knows is it worth a two dollar risk possibly let's see here it is on amazon lots of reviews like for 142 dollars what 
that is crazy now again mine is used so it's not going to sell for that much but when i originally looked it up you could see prices as low as 55 so that's the minimum so this will at least go for 55. this is something uh, there's a lot of pieces in here i'm gonna cut it open in a little bit same when i look up the cards and the uh what were those things called playmobiles so i'll look this all up together now in a semi-recent video guys i found one of these jeep strollers i believe brand new in the box and I think it was $100, $150, and everybody said I was crazy to not buy it because they sell for so well, three, dollars $400. Well, here's a used one for $60 already put together. Would this be worth it to grab and uh, sell on Facebook Marketplace? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I got chewed out for not buying the last one. Maybe I should get this one. I don't know. Do they still sell for as much used? This is something I'm going to have to look into. All right, guys, I looked into it and I was wrong. So the thing that I found was this kind of stroller wagon carriage combo. Just a regular stroller appears to only sell for about $49. So it's actually more expensive at the thrift store than you could get it on eBay. So pretty interesting. I turned around from the strollers and I saw this really, really cool Minnesota Vikings jacket. Look at that huge logo on the back. But then I saw the price, $60. That seems expensive. <laughs> It's a cool jacket though so it's really nice oh you got the minnesota viking head right there this thing is pretty sweet but uh not for 60 dollars maybe at 20 i don't know all right guys i think it's time to check out the electronics there's some ps2s over here please don't be crazy 25 dollars with a controller oh and all the cords that's a good deal this is going in the cart Oh no, there's another PS2 for $25 with all the cords and a controller. Okay, I'll grab both of these. That's that's a good deal. So after further detangling, this one did not have any of the cords with it. And uh, I see on the back here, there should be a screw right there and a screw right here. So this thing has been taken apart. The screws aren't even in it. I would not trust this at all for 25 bucks. But that one, I would. We also have a Wii for $25 as is does have cords so i'm gonna plug this in oh it even has the sensor bar back here not bad does it have a controller no genesis for 60 that's kind of expensive and a 360 for 40 ps3 for 60 neither one has their cords so i don't like that but this i'm gonna plug this in and see if a game pops out all right i was wrong so i thought all the cords were coming out of the back the power cord is missing so there's no way to know if it works as is is circled on it which usually means it doesn't work so i'm surprised they're charging 25 dollars uh i don't think there's a game on the inside there uh no sd card uh, i think i'm gonna leave it there is still so much stuff when it comes to electronics here stuff that could be good like look at this sony high-res audio it's a hundred dollars though but I love when I see these receivers with HDMI ports. It means they're semi-new. So this one might be worth it. Uh, there's a Denon right here. Um, a nice DVD VCR combo. 15 bucks though. Uh, $20 for that one. Holy moly. Ooh, this is kind of a nice one. It's a sharp forehead. I kind of like the way this one looks. This one might be worth it. It's 13 bucks though, kind of expensive, but hey, if it sells for over a hundred, it's worth it. I'm gonna look a few of these up, see if there's any gems. So I'm looking everything up over here and nothing's good enough really. Like there is some value in things. This receiver right here has sold on eBay anywhere between 150 and 300 dollars on the high end, but there's no cords, no remote, no nothing. At 100 dollars, don't even know if it works. I'm going to leave it behind. Uh but this VCR right here, this Panasonic PV9450. I've actually sold this model a bunch in the past. And take a look on Amazon. They want $13 here. Has an amazing rank. Selling for $119. You'll make $95. That is worth it. Now, I have no idea if it works. That's my only issue. I hate dropping $13 on something like this to not know if it works. They have no refunds here. Nothing like that. The cord is stuck. Let's grab that. There we go. Um, these are pretty, pretty well 
well known to be working. I mean, I, I've purchased a bunch of these in the past, and the Panasonic ones usually work. Ah, do I take the gamble? I've taken a gamble on a few things in here. I'll stick it in the cart. So I was about to leave the electronics section when I saw this thing down here, and I had no idea what it was. I figured I'd look it up. They want $70 for it. I found it online. Uh, there's a new one that sold for 100 uh, up to 200 120 It's just like vibration plate for exercising. It sells pretty well. Now, I'm not going to spend 70 on it because the thing's huge. It's going to be heavy to ship. But if I ever find this, or if any of you guys ever find a Life Pro vibration plate <laughs> for, you know, $10, $20, it could definitely be worth it. $70 is just definitely too much. Man, I'm finding so much here that's just sadly overpriced, guys. Definitely keep an eye out for these Margaritaville blenders. Uh, I've always known to keep an eye out for these. These things are like cocktail makers, frozen cocktail makers. It's $60, which is too expensive for me. But take a look on eBay, $105, $125, uh, about $100. Brand new, they sell for about 300. Now, if you have one that has a triple blender, those can go for $500, I believe, something crazy. Oh, there's one right there. The triple blender for almost 500 bucks. Uh, but these single blenders still sell for over $100. Just the blender itself sells for 69, 60. But I'm not gonna drop $60 on an unknown, untested. It looks a little dirty at the thrift store. That is staying behind. There's one right next to it for 60 as well. That's gonna stay behind. It's a shame. They got a bunch of kitchen aids here, I bet you. Yep, $100 without the bowl. $100 without the bowl and without this little contraption right there. This isn't even a kitchen aid, I don't think. I bet you it's $100 though. So <laughs> those can stay behind as well. It's a shame. There's so many cool things here. But, I mean, we, we found a lot of cool th cool stuff today, so I'm not so worried. And there's still more of this thrift store to go through. Somebody left a cart here. Let's get this out of the way. See if we find anything here. Um, it's not looking great over here. You know, it's very rare that I find something on this little electronics hanging area. I did see all those iPods the other day. It looks like they all sold. They were all knockoffs, besides a few that were really damaged. Uh, or they threw them out. I don't know. What do we have here? Oh, a Sony camera charger. Oh, it's a few different camera chargers here. That's a knockoff brand. Yeah, I'll probably leave that. So I decided to come back to the media and take a quick look. And I found... This P90X, I haven't found P90X in a while for eight bucks. I just checked and they're all in here. Uh, I don't know about the condition. Luckily, I have a disc cleaner. Oh, these are minty, super clean. So, for eight dollars, that is a great find. Now, I do hear that people say you could have issues with Vero claims on eBay, and so I can't really recommend selling these on eBay, but I have been selling them for about eight years now. I've probably sold 50 of them over the years and I've never once received a claim. Uh, not saying that you won't, but just be careful of that. We'll put it in the cart though. What else do we have here? Some packaging design things. We'll look those up. Uh, ooh, we got a video game. Yeah, we'll start looking this stuff up. All right, so I'm looking over these NBA hoops basketball cards. They're $20 is a shame. If they were $10, I'd probably grab them all and just take a gamble. There's a few cards in here that are worth money. Uh, the Michael Jordan is one of them, sells ungraded for about $10, $15. Uh, there's a few other players that go for some decent money. Um, you know, decent as in a few bucks, right? Now, each one only costs about 53 cents to ship on eBay, so it's really not too bad there. Shipping, I'm not worried about. I opened one up and flipped through it a bit, and uh, here's what eBay shows, right? So if they're graded, they go for more money, obviously. I'm not, I would not get any of these graded because that's just too much time, money, and effort. You see, some of the Michael Jordans go for money, some of the other players go for one to two dollars. Um, I'm sure. You know, there's a few hundred cards in here. I'm sure if I spent 20 and I listed every single one, I could make a few hundred dollars, but I just don't think it's worth the time and effort. Maybe I'll get one box to mess with it. What would you guys do? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I found more boxes. <laughs> we have uh, two, three, four, five, 
I believe there's six in here somewhere. And then these baseball cards, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. So I think I might get one to mess with it, and that's about it. All right, guys, I actually decided completely against it. We're going to leave them all behind. I just don't see it worth the time and effort at a $20 purchase. But I did find a couple pieces of clothing here. Interesting. I don't really find clothing too often, but we have some good pieces here. Let me show you. First one we have here is a Pendleton. It's a men's large, 100% wool for $6. I looked it over, didn't see any holes. It's got some nice elbow patches. Should be an easy $40, if not more. And this one I went back and forth on. It's a Tyndale Flame Resistant. That's what the FR stands for. Uh, it's an XL for $8, but I think green is 25% off. So it's a little bit cheaper than that. It's pretty clean from what I see. A few little marks on it, but that stuff should just wipe right off. Uh, I'm on the fence. This is about a 30 to four, 30 to $35 piece right here. So it's a total maybe. I'm gonna stick it in the cart though. Uh, if you look in here, you can see we got bins of Legos. They take up to that door. So uh, I just barely got everything to fit in here. I already have stuff in the trunk. So uh, yeah, and uh, I ended up leaving with one of these anyways. It was in my cart. I, I said, yeah, just scan it, whatever. So maybe I'll make some money on it. Well, maybe that's the one that has like four Michael Jordans in it, who knows? But uh, I figured at $20, it was in my cart. I just bought it, uh, but I'm pretty stoked. We got a lot of good stuff in here. I am excited that Bop It, easily the best find I've had in a while. Super happy. That Bop It should pay for everything. My total was just about $164. So that bop it should cover this entire haul today. Sweet. All right, now we are semi drying off in the car. It's time to head home. I was gonna go to another thrift store, but uh, the rain's starting to come down harder and harder. The car is completely packed, so I'm not gonna fit much more in here. I think it's time to go home. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya. Are you so I'm not gonna... Hmm? Those ones are here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And these are all the ones that you showed me in the photos? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I saw some of the boxes had some bends on them and stuff. Nothing too bad. Um, on this one? Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to tell from the photos which ones were squished and not. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> things really squished but I mean whatever and then some of the box have some rips okay should be fine at least all the seals are on them right yeah. okay cool and then um, these used ones right here you you never count the pieces or anything in these they are? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to sell these also? If you're interested. Yeah, I could still use Legos on Amazon, so that's lucky for me. Let me uh, scan. All right, so we agreed on the original price of $250 there, and then these used ones right here, we threw them in for, well, she threw them in, I didn't throw them in, for an extra $50, so $300 for everything here. I think that is an awesome deal. Thank you. Hey, <laughs>